Hi everyone, this is Dimitris. In this short video I'll show you how to set up interplanetary MFT and uh, transex MFT in a way that's very helpful for interplanetary voyages. Here's what to do. In your orbiter directory, here as you can see I've already downloaded IMFT 5.5 and uh, transex 3.13. This one has the enter button and a graphics fix. You can find the links uh, for these two in the links below in the description. Uh, so let's start with MFD. Uh, let's extract here. And uh, now go to the config directory, find IMFD, open it, and you need to change these lines, this one, leg size change it to 1 to increase the accuracy and uh, the error tolerance, adapt tolerance here, which is set to 8 as you can see lower value, higher, uh, higher accuracy so let's change it to 4 now I'm not changing it to 1 because uh, this number is a good compromise between the increased accuracy and the the time that uh, when you connect two interplanetary MFTs, the time that it takes for uh, the data from one to go to the other. So this is a good compromise for uh, this value is a good compromise uh, for increased accuracy and time. And the next uh, line you want to change is uh, this one date format. Uh, it it's already set up to 1 and I want it to be to 0 so we have the MJD format and not the GED. Uh, so that's it for IMFT. We save, close. Now let's extract the transex because uh, Orbiter already has uh, a transex DLL we replace everything, yes to all, and now here is a little trick. Go to the modules directory, plug in, and uh, here is transex. Copy and paste the, the copy over here. So here is transex, copy, this is the word copy in Greek. Rename it to transex2 or something. Make sure that it's just, it's all one word. Now, go back, let's run Orbiter and activate the modules. So you can see we have two instances of Transex and let's activate Interplanetary MFT and uh, exit. Now go to your Orbiter CFG. You can see that I have Transex here and the other two that were uh, activated down here. Now I want these two to be in the same page and always in the active modules the first two are going to be in the same page and the first one on the second page I want to be this one in the planetary MFT. So let's cut this and paste it here delete the rest the void here and you're all done save and exit now let's see what we did uh, let's take a delta glider at uh, I don't know, at Brighton Beach get rid of the radar sound, ok now you can see we have two instances of uh, transex on the first one we can set up any kind of plan we want uh, let me set up a 6 states plan Seven. 
8, you can set up any time you want, any kind of plan you want. And the first instance here, remember we set it up here. The first one here shows you this, that same plan, okay? <coughs> but on the second instance of Ransex has nothing to do with the other one. You can set up a completely different plan here. So let's say escape and here let's say we want to drop back to Earth. And uh, I found this to be very useful uh, for uh, the cases that you actually need the surrogate ship. Uh, you can set up a, a two plans in two different Transex uh, MFDs and um, you don't actually need the surrogate ship in most of the cases. Here again you can see that this plan, the two stage plan of the second Transex has nothing to do with the eight stage plan of the first. And uh, the here is why I copied it and I had Transex and Transex 2, the first two, because these are the stock orbiter MFDs and then the first two go and fill the first page. On the, se on the second page, here it is, interplanetary. The third one I placed there is the first one of the second page. And the rest I already had. So, here is what we did with interplanetary MFT. Uh, menu and uh, configuration. You can see here, mission timer already set on MJD, so you don't have to do this every time you open it. It's already set. And more importantly, on the map mod here, you have the accuracy already set to max. That was the leg size we changed. And here is the error tolerance. And uh, this is how to set it up. It's very useful, and I hope you find it useful too. Thanks for watching.